Hi everyone, my name is Pratik Mehta and welcome to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, we are going to dive into a fascinating world of bit manipulation. We'll explore the concept of reversing bits, which is a powerful technique used in various programming and computer science applications. Also, this is a famous interview problem asked by top tech companies such as Amazon, Google and Qualcomm. So let's jump right in and unlock the secrets of reversing bits together. Let's get started. So let's consider this problem statement uh, where we are given bits and we have to reverse it. So let's consider this bit as 1011 and the resulted output will be 1101. Another example would be 0011 and its output should be 1100. Now before we start discussing the approach and the code, we'll start with some of the prerequisite concepts that will help us demystify the approach and when we understand these concepts, it will be very easy for us to understand the code and the approach. So let's start with the concepts part. So as you know, in any most of the programming languages, the size of integer is 32 bits. Okay, like C, C++, the size of integer is 32 bits. So let's go with that example of 32 bits. The second concept that we must be aware of is the logical AND operator and its properties. So if we see the logical AND operator, if we given two inputs a and b and if we do a logical and the resultant value will be set that is will only be one if both the values of both the bits of a and b is set as one so if it is only one and with one the result will be one otherwise it will be zero okay so the third concept we'll discuss now is the left shift operator it is a famous bit manipulation operator again and it causes the bits to be shifted to the left position and then by the number of positions specified on by the right operand okay so for example consider this expression zero left shift one okay so what it does it performs a left shift operation on the value of zero by one position that means that all the bits in the zero will be shifted to the left by one position and a zero will be inserted to the right side rightmost position okay the result of the operation will be a new value with the bits shifted to left so in this case the value will still be zero so the second example is like we're shifting the value of one to the position left by one bit so that will help that will make the value as one zero because zero 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 one where one was at the last most position rightmost position will be shifted to one position to the left and a zero will be inserted so the value will be one zero which is two in decimal and the third uh, thing would be like one one left shifted to one is equal to one one zero okay so again eleven one one shifted to left position by one and zero will be inserted so in decimal the value will be six okay so let's move on uh, so if we want to check if a particular bit is set or not so this is the, like a building block that we have that we are going to use to solve uh, our main problem. So if we want to check if a particular bit is set at a, a particular position in a number, how do we approach that? So given like two parameters, A and B, where B specifies the position and the A the uh, actual number. So how do we check it? If whether the position at is two is set or not. By set or not means that if the position bit at two is one or zero. Okay, so if let's take uh, one as the number okay where we have uh, let's create a mask number so one left shifted to that position b okay so that will be a mask number for example one is basically zero 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 one right most value will be one and now if you want to check the second position of a whether it is zero or one what we'll do is we'll shift one left position to match that position of a which is two okay and that will basically become zero 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 one zero zero okay and we'll, we'll do an AND. So when we do an AND, we already know that when both the bits are one, that means then only it will give one, otherwise it will give zero. So for example, in this example where A is equal to one, zero, one, one, and B is two, and we want to check whether the position two is set or not. So uh, what we'll do is we'll create a mask of number one, left shift it to second position, and then do an AND. So zero AND with one is not set, okay? So for when we are talking about the main problem, which is reversing bits, so let's now come to the approach of how to solve the main problem. So now let's consider an example of 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, okay? And now, now we want to create a result in binary number from left side, which is 1, 1, 0, 1. The result will be 1, 1, 0, 1, which is the reverse of 1, 0, 1, 1. Now, how do we get started? 
So first thing is that we want to create a resultant variable initialized with the value zero. Okay, we'll create a variable initialized with value zero. That is pretty simple. Okay. Now second is for each bit in 32 bit integer number a. Okay, so if this 1011 is let's call it a the input and now for each bit we will check whether its bit is set or not okay whether it is one or zero now if the bit is set that is if one is set okay uh, if the bit is set then we will we'll write that set bit to the resultant value but that is not only the thing that we will want to do okay we, we are, because we are reversing it so we want to start from left to right okay. so what we'll do is if the bit is set We'll first check whether the bit is set. How do we check it? We have already seen through the check bit function. So if the bit is set, we will write it to the resultant variable and we'll shift it to the to that position. Since we are we are doing reverse. Okay, by one position we'll shift it and insert a zero for the next bit as a placeholder. Okay, now let's consider this example where you understand our example where you understand better. Uh, so let's consider a number one zero one one. Okay. And the result value as zero. The first step is to create a result value zero. Now, what we'll do is we'll take the first bit, okay, which is one. Now we'll check whether this bit is set or not. Okay, as you can see, this bit is set. Set means if it is one, okay. So if it is set, what we'll do is we'll write one as the result. Okay, but that is not only one. Since we are reversing it, we want something on the right as well. Okay, so we'll create a placeholder space. We'll insert zero to the right. Okay, that is a placeholder for the next digit to come. Because after before one, nothing can come. This will be our first digit in the resultant value. So after one only, everything will come. So we'll create a space. Okay. So how the space will be created is it will be created through left shift by one position and then zero will be inserted to the right position. Okay. Now let's consider a second bit. Yes, it is set. Okay, so we'll convert zero to one. How do we convert it? We'll use an OR operator, OR with one. Okay, so that is done. So now again, we we have more digits to consider. So we'll uh, we'll consider we'll create another space. Okay, so to create a space again, we'll left shift it by one. Take let's take third digit. Okay, now is it set? No, it is not set, right? So if it is not set, so what we'll do is we'll keep that last digit as is, okay? Because it's not set, zero can be zero. Okay, we don't need to convert it to one. So now what we'll do is we'll again left shift it and create another placeholder for the next digit, which is zero. And now the last one, we'll check it. It is set, yes. So we'll convert it to one. How we'll convert it? Okay, we'll use an OR operator. So this is the approach and this will continue when all the 32 bits of integer uh, number is exhausted. So now let's go through the code in detail and let's see how it works. Code walkthrough. So we have a reverse method which will accept uh, a long value 11 as an example. The binary version of 11 is 1011 and the reverse value would be 1101, right? So the first step we are going to do is we are going to declare initialize a reverse result variable to zero just setting it as zero and we know that we are we are considering is this to be 32 bits so for each bit we are going to check whether this bit is set or not okay for each 32 bit number we are going to set this bit is set or not so in literal terms we are going to iterate through all the bits of a and we can to check if each bit is set or not okay so the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to just left shift it by one okay so zero left shifted by zero is still zero okay so now <coughs> now this function is what this is going to do is uh, we're just going to check whether this uh, is set or not so we are just using a mask to that position okay so one mask uh, one and with one is again one so this condition will return true and now uh, we just have to set the reverse value to one. Okay, once this is set, since we are reversing it, okay, so it will be now one, but we also need a placeholder, right, for other, other values. So it will be like one, zero, once we left shift it, okay. 
Now again, since we are on this page, again this is set. We are ORing it with one uh, to make that result one. Okay, now this placeholder has become one again, but we have to again, since there are more digits, we have to create another placeholder. That is our, we have to left shift uh, result value so, uh, so that zero will be inserted to the right side. Okay, again, we are going to check whether this bit is set or not. Okay, so this bit is now, is it set or no? It is not set now, okay? So it will not go to the if condition. The value will remain as is, but we will still left shift it for the other digit. Okay, so once we left shift it, again, right is appended. Uh, again, zero is appended to the right position. And then we mask and we check whether uh, bit is set or not. Now the bit is one here. This bit we are working on, we are processing and checking this bit. Okay, so once this bit is set, so we will change the last digit to our operator and it will become 1011. Okay, so this is what we need now, right? And to pro further process other digits, since there are more digits, since we are working on 32 bit number, so we will still shift it and now it will be like 0000, zero, zero, zero something. Okay, it will keep on processing. So that is it guys, now let me just run this function. Okay. So if we reverse bits of 11 in a 32 bit number and the output will be 348960928. So this is the working of reverse bits method and I hope you enjoyed and this was helpful to you. If you like such tutorials, please consider subscribing to my channel and sharing this video with as many people as possible. Uh, thank you so much.